He's a Super Bowl champion and number one receiver for the Tennessee Titans, but it's the work that Nate Washington does off the field that truly makes him stand out. For the third year in a row, the Scott High School and Tiffin University alum hosted his toy and coat giveaway, and for the first time, the event took place at the Huntington Center. The event, which is put on by Washington's nonprofit organization, the 85th Foundation, aims to give those children who are less fortunate a very Merry Christmas. This is the city I grew up in. This is the city that made me, you know, and um, I'm just happy, you know. I've been, I've been very blessed, you know, throughout seven years in the NFL, and I just want to be able to bless others. So with that being said, this is something that we do. More charitable acts this afternoon as the Jamie Farr Toledo Classic held their charity check luncheon. Despite not having a tournament this year, Toledo Classic Inc., the parent company of the LPGA tournament, continued their tradition by presenting checks to six local kids' charities. Proceeds totaled over $200,000, and Kroger also donated an additional $75,000 to two additional local charities, including the Jamie Farr Toledo Classic Scholarship Fund. You know, this brings the total that the Jamie Farr Tournament and uh, our parent organization, Toledo Classic Inc., has given over $7.4 million to about 100 different Northwest Ohio and Southeastern Michigan children's charities. So, yeah, I think it'll be great uh, to bring the ladies back um, in August of next year for uh, the 27th time. And uh, I think the community is looking forward to it, and uh, we're excited. Rivals on the field, united off the field today, Toledo and Bowling Green's football teams join forces at the Toledo Northwestern Ohio Food Bank. The Rockets and Falcons participate in the Cash for Sacks program. Every time a player from either team recorded a sack this season, Kroger donated $25 worth of groceries to the food bank. When all the sacks were added up, Kroger donated $1,075 worth of groceries to the bank.